What's up, everybody? We are getting right into this. Doc type. My bad, I need to scroll in. HTML. Let's put some H or HTML tags this time. I never really do that. HTML. Wow, I am very slow with the typing today. Head. Head. Today, we're going to be creating uh, Simon Says. So, script uh, type equals text slash javascript src equals uh lib p5 min.js just some uh linking the scripts and everything all of the libraries which really it's only one library and then i'm coding in the other one uh but we are creating simon simon says however you want to call it uh, if we come over here and we say function uh, setup, and we say create canvas, uh, let's say 500 by 500 should be fine. Function draw is where we're going to say background, background 51. And then we will test looking good. So we obviously need a var pattern. Um, and what I'd like to do is have a new file, function tile. Let's create a function tile, tile.js. Let's save it into, uh, where is it? Simon is right there, cool. Let's get this, tile.js. Now within here, we have a this.x. Um, this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, this dot uh, s equals s. This is going to be the size. Um, we're doing x, y, s is fine. And we'll do a, uh, a color. There we go. Uh, this dot c equals c. Uh, this dot um, b, c equals b, c. So this will be color a uh, bright color <laughs> there we go I'm literally doing this as fast as I can for whatever reason so let's do tile dot prototype dot draw let's set that equal to a function and let's say um, whether it lights up or not is what we need to say so uh, lit <laughs> uh, fill fill um if it should be lit <laughs> then uh hassan would really be laughing at me right now for using the variable name lit but um whenever i hear lit i think of him <laughs> uh if it's lit then we use this dot bc uh else we use c um so then we draw a um a rectangle at this dot x, this dot y, this dot s, this dot s. Uh, let's let's make a width and a height. W W width. Uh, snap. I don't know why it always says that. H H height. This dot width. This dot height. There we go. Should be good. This or uh, tile dot pro prototype dot uh, mm, it's not an update uh, check click um, I don't know exactly how I should do this so I think I'm just gonna leave this out for now uh, var pattern is going to equal a uh, an array so then uh, background we are going to be saying, uh, we're going to create four tiles. So four, um, here, let's just do var tiles equals an array. We will say four, we'll just say tiles.push, um, new tile, uh, we need a width and a height, h, C, okay, so an X, Y, width and a height. Um, the X will be, uh, let's just use a for loop. 4 var i equals 0, 
i is less than 4i plus plus. Um, for var j equals 0, j is less than 4, j plus plus. Uh, Christian, hey man, I just want to say I really enjoy your videos. Aw, oh, shucks, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> really, really makes me feel good when that happens. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's do this so that it's saying, actually, I don't want a width and a height. That makes it really complicated. No, no, it doesn't make it complicated. Anyways, um, we will say, you know what, let's make it, let's actually just make it a, uh, ellipse, no stroke, there we go, we'll do an ellipse at this dot s, um, s, s, size, s, there we go, okay, so, um, say tiles dot push, new tile, uh, we need a var SCL equals something like 50, we will say uh, i times SCL plus SCL, no, 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 uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do this first, um, j times SCL, uh, the size will be SCL, and we will create a, a random color, so, uh, hmm. I want a random color var um, call equals here var r equals uh, noise of uh, no I don't want to do this yeah let's just do i times j I want a random color but I want it to be brighter than the last one um, Let's do, let's do, uh, var r equals noise i j, uh, you know what, I think we'll just, gosh, why is this so difficult? No, not there. No, Adam, no. Uh, r g b, b g, this one will be j comma i, this one will be just I. Uh, so we'll say color R G B, and then we will say color R plus ten. Or okay, you know what? This will be. We'll just multiply all of these by two hundred. There, two hundred. There we go. We'll make it uh var c equals color r g b and then here then we will say bright color so bright color is going to be r plus 30 g plus 30 b plus 30 or you know what we'll do 50 just so it's really bright <laughs> okay um so now we can delete some of this C and then B C and we are good. So that's those are our um, tiles. Well, then draw. We're gonna say four var i equals no nah, zero i is less than tiles dot length i plus plus and we are just going to draw the tiles. So tiles of i dot draw there we go now we have four tiles uh, they're up in the left corner so if we add SCL to it SCL here we go oh gosh I want to... okay let's let's multiply them by 100 and add um, add 100 to them so we multiply then we add so that they're not completely black. Um, there we go. So there we go. Looking good, I guess. <laughs> oh gosh, why is this? This looks horrible. <laughs> I'm not liking it. Um, let's let's just make 
yeah, we'll keep it for now. Um, let's make it random. Um, random two fifty five. Random two fifty five. Really, we're not going to be two doing two fifty five, but um, we'll just do this for now. We'll actually do like one fifty five, one fifty five, one fifty five. We'll add 50 to it, add 50, add 50, there we go. Those are a bit better. I'm liking those more. Uh, let's not have a G. Let's always have this zero. I think if we do that, then we've got better colors. No, we don't. We're keeping the G. <laughs> okay. Um, or you know what we could do? Uh, J mod two equals zero. Uh, so if it mod that, then we randomize it. If not, then we're just going to, uh, what happened? Oh, yes. There, we'll say I mod two equals zero. B will always be randomized. Those are some good colors. Uh, I wish I could stay, but I will watch tomorrow when I wake up. Good stream, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, it feels nice to be appreciated. <laughs> 250. Uh, those are too, too big. Uh, that's fine. Um, I'd like it to be center aligned, but we add scale, right? We add scale, and then we, uh, we multiply by scale. So what we need to do is say, hmm, maybe if we try 200, tad too big, 175, no 175, not 275, please. That should be good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's good. Uh, so what Simon says is, it's a game where they light up and once it gives you the pattern, you have to mock the pattern. And it adds one to the pattern each time. So, um, we also need a var input equals an array. Ah, gosh, why does it do this? Why does this do this to me? Uh, okay. So, um, every time they click, um, Function mouse pressed. We'll first console dot log flag. There we go. What's new? Oh, neat. Okay. Okay, so it's flagging nicely. Uh, in mouse press, we are going to say we need to get the tile that they clicked on. So, tile t equals, or my bad, <laughs> var t equals tile, no, we want, yeah, 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 var t equals tile dot, no, okay, okay, we need a function get tile, um, function get tile, <clears throat> tile. Uh, so, what I want is to get the index tiles tile. Um, and we return the index. Actually, no. Um, yes, my bad. We don't need a tiles array, we only need a tile. So, for, we actually do need the tiles array. Um, <laughs> Gosh, I'm so all over the place. Var i equals zero, i is less than tiles dot length i plus plus if tiles um no 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 it's not tile we need a vector x y um if uh in bounds x y if tiles of i dot um, in bounds 
uh, x, y. Then we return i. Else we return negative one. Shouldn't happen, but it might just happen. Um, so if it's in bounds, we need to check, is it in the bounds? Um, what we will do is we will say um, var d equals dist between x, y, this dot, x, this dot, y. We will say if d is less than uh, this dot size, um, return true. Or, or just return this. <laughs> return d is less than that. So add the semicolon and we can delete everything after that. There we go. Cool. That's a pretty simple inbounds. Um, so we want a. Uh, we want this. We want. Uh, um. We want to say input dot push. Uh, get tile. Yep, get tile. Within the tiles array. Um, mouse x mouse y. There we go. Uh, so when they click, it should click. Um, we also need to check. Uh, if all of the values like seem good so for var i equals zero i is less than input dot length i plus plus we will just say if um if input equals pattern uh, then we're good. Um, if it doesn't equal pattern, end game. Uh, so we need a function end game real quick. Uh, no loop console.log uh, game over. So we just go and we go say if input length equals pattern dot length then new tile um so we need a we need to push pattern dot push uh random uh, random times four will math dot floor it. Math dot floor that times tiles length. So that's that. We push a random tile, um, and we need a state. We need a game state. Uh, var, um, var uh how do, how should i say this var showing demonstrating uh showing or er, uh speaking equals true uh actually we will initialize it to not nothing uh, so we'll say push a new tile um, or we just need a new tile function really function new tile and we will just do this within new tile we will also set some other things new tile um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. We don't really need to uh, do anything. Score plus plus. We have a score. Var score. Uh, we'll say. Um, say new tile. Uh, 
score equals zero. There we go. Um, actually, there. Well, no. Okay. We'll set score equal to negative one, and then we will say new tile, uh, because new tile will uh, add to the score once. Uh, if we go to see, we push these when they click on them. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we have if input, um, as long as this doesn't equal, uh, here, var t equals get tile, uh, there, let's say, if t does not equal negative one, then we push, uh, t. There we go, um, now, uh, we will say, draw the one that is lit draw uh i equals um input dot length minus one um there so whether that equals that huh okay some reason uh, we are we say okay here let's let's do a log t does not equal <laughs> oh my bad pattern of i this needs to be input of i Okay, yes. Um, we need you say whenever we do this console.log heck t zero 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 what is what is up? Why is this zero? Uh this dot s if that happens we return i Here, okay, getting negative one. Okay, I don't really want to be checking all of this, really. Uh, neither that. Okay. So for some reason, okay, if distance is less than, oh goodness, size over two, maybe? Nice. Three, two, zero, zero, one, two, three. Cool. So var here we'll say demonstrating. Demonstrating. Uh okay. So we push the the new tile. Uh then we say demonstrating equals true and within demonstrating then we will say uh okay we will say demonstrating or it can't be demonstrating and yes okay let's actually so demonstrating is going to equal false for now. Uh, let's just say uh, demonstrating equals false. We are gonna have to change that. Uh, let me delete where we say game over. Huh. That one's always the one that gets lit up. Um, so if, if I is equal to the length, oh, wait, 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 equals input, input of, 
input.link from this one, is what I meant to say. There we go, now it's doing the correct. There we go. Cool. Um, so, we need to say, really, is if we're demonstrating, if demonstrating, then we do this, else, then this is what we do. Um, we say there. And what we need to say is, ah, snap, okay, var, var, uh, um, index, d index equals zero, or, yeah, okay. Um, new tile, and we say, demonstrating is true, um, and then we say, d index equals zero and here we are going to say if demonstrating we will say d index equals okay no 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 uh draw pattern of d index equals tiles of i. So if it equals that, then we'll draw it. Um, we'll, I mean, we'll light it up. Well, I can't really tell if it's being lit up. Um, so what we could do is say, um, if frame count uh, mod 60 equals 0 then we will increment d index uh, then we will say um, we want if d index is uh, d index plus 1 or if, it, if it's less than pattern dot length really we want if it's not less than um so what we want is we want to say if demonstrating we will we will do this Oop, yeah okay that's what i meant to do um so that's that, um, well not yet. Then we need to say if it's less than this, it's not less than that really, then we do d, d index equals zero, demonstrating equals false. There we go. Because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to do greater than or equal to. You know what? I will do greater than or equal to. Um, there we go. Let's try it. Oh. Um, okay. Let's push a few of them, actually. Okay. We will. We'll do this first. Um, and we have to say, and frame count is not equals zero. Not equal to. Hmm. Oh, oh, my bad. Pattern of the index just equals i. There we go. Here we go. Um, so we start off, and I kind of want a buffer. Uh, 
yeah, okay. So, what we'll do... I don't really need this one, I guess. Actually, yes, I do. Nope. Here, we'll just try this. Okay, cool. So we know it's that one. We have this. Let's try this now. Um... Cool, okay. So, if this equals that... Um... So if those lengths equate to each other, we push in a new, um, we push in, actually no, okay, so once this happens, yes, yes, we say demonstrating this falls, uh, let's see, Dem demonstrating false, we are not demonstrating, demonstrating false, false. True, false, pretty sure it was that one. Let's click a different one. Okay, neat. Um, kind of worked, I don't really know. Um, so within here, we have to say, if demonstrating, return. So that's that. And then it should go to a different tile. Um, hmm. Hmm. It needs to blink. Hmm. So, yes. Okay, so, um, we log a T. We have a game over. I would, I'd like to see pattern. Okay. Pattern. Zero. Input. Pattern. Zero three. Okay, let's look at input. Oh my bad, I put zero two. So let's look at pattern three. Let's get my input is none. Three. Input pattern. Three three. Whoa. Pattern two. Okay. Okay, now it's four, right? Or or one. So what's going on here? We're saying we say hmm. What are we saying? I think this dot s needs to be bigger if it's lit. Uh, if it's lit, we'll do times 1.2. If not, we'll just do this dot s. Okay. <laughs> so pattern, two, one. So what's the pattern now? Zero. That's very odd. We say new tile. We push a random one. Increment the score. Set demonstrating equals true. Set d index equal to zero. Within here, if we're demonstrating, we go here. Hmm. So let's see if we can just demonstrate a whole bunch of them.
Hmm. It only did the last two. It only did three, zero. This time, it did two, two. So it's only doing the last ones. Uh, so if it mods, let's try something like 120. Two, and then that's it. Pattern, we just went to that. Okay. Pattern, we went 3, 2. So it's not really doing anything. We just kind of... Heh. Okay, so if pattern, hmm, we draw it, we say, oh, oh, that's why. Okay. What we need to do is say, I need to put this down here. I had that in inside of a for loop for some reason. Do, 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 do. Okay, that looked like fascinating. O, three, two, O, oh, I messed up. Heck. Zero. That one, or that one, that one, twice, that one, that one. That one, one, two, that one, that one. So it needs to, so that's twice. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Input needs to clear, right, okay. So, um, new tile. New tile means input equals an empty array. Here we go. There, there, there. Twice, there. There, 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 twice, there. There, 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 twice. There, 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 twice, there, there. Okay. Okay. I, I missed it. There, 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 twice, there, there, there. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Uh, new tile, we are actually going to say, um, if it mods 60, uh, we will also draw the score, text, score, text align, center, center, with a capital R, uh, text size, Fill 255, um, text size is going to be like 30, score, width over 2, height, minus 50. There. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, this is fun. I, I'm having so much fun with this. Okay. Um, a few things we need to change. When we do end game here, let's just copy some of this. Uh, let's move this up here, actually. Um, there. 
here we go. Let's say here, and then end game. We are going to say there, there, there. Height over to. Um, actually, no, 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 no. We are going to say like seventy. Text size is going to be fifty. Game over. Okay, let's see. Uh, we well we stopped looping. Uh, seventy, I guess, is a little bit. Hmm, what's what's wrong with this? Um, flag. Three flag. Let's try like 20. So, for some reason, this isn't wanting to draw. Text 50, fill 255, width over 2, comma 20. Let's just do height minus 20. We aren't drawing. that actually that hmm. how peculiar we say fill mm hmm text size fill text so what's wrong end game we flag and we we say no loop oh I guess it's because uh, okay here um, we will have to say if playing, if, um, yeah, playing, playing, if we're not playing, then we draw this. End game will simply set playing equals false uh, we can keep that flag we will say there let me shift tab it uh, var playing uh, we will say playing is true game over there we go. Okay. Um, what I would like to do is say var var time demonstrating var time. Uh, we will say time equals zero. Within new tile, we will also be saying, actually, no, we don't even need to say tile equals zero in there. Um, within new tile, say time equals zero. Uh, and each time, <laughs> each time, we will say time plus plus. We'll just go off of the count. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, so 
Ah, mm. oh, I messed it up. Okay, well, I think I'm good with that. Um. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Um, let's, let's not flag. And yeah, that's, that's Simon Says for you. Uh, here we are playing it, as you can see. Oh, what was it? Yes, there. Oh, hang on, let me, let me get rid of the console.log. Because I think we did this. No, where did we do it? Yeah. Console.log T, didn't mean to delete all of that. There we go. Do, there. There. Cool. Okay, so that's twice. Oh, dude, this is fun. Oh, God, 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 how am I getting these? Uh, one, two, one, two. Ah. I'm at eight. One, two. There, there. I'm at nine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to keep this for very long. Okay. Cool, I'm at 10. Let's stop the timer. Okay. And there. Ah, oh, it's two. One. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dude, this is difficult. Uh, there, there. One, two, there. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, oh, no, I forgot the two. Dang it. Alrighty. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed, be sure to tune in for tomorrow's game of the day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.